It's Friday, which means it's Air Friday. Our producer Sydney is here with me tonight. We're air frying pumpkin seeds, and you're telling us all about her starring role in the play, The Haunting of Hill House, which is happening in Rochelle. Tonight, tonight. is opening night. Friday the 13th is a big day for you emotionally, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's my parents' anniversary. Yeah. It's obviously the spookiest day of the year. Yeah. And so, and it's an amazing day to have an opening night for this. Yeah, it really fits perfectly. Before we hear about this play, tell me about pumpkin seeds in the air fryer. It, yeah, it's super easy. I just picked up these like just a bag of pumpkin seeds like you would like sunflower seeds or yeah, any other seeds. Yeah, which I didn't know that they made. I thought she was bringing, <laughs> gonna bring the whole guts here. That would be really, cleaner. that'd be really funny. Yeah. But, um, and then so you just take these, you toss them in a bowl with uh, the two teaspoons of olive oil, okay. one teaspoon of paprika, and then one teaspoon of salt. And then you just pop them in the air fryer for okay. a while and they but turn they're pretty out. pretty good. Why do they taste like bacon? Um, it's probably the paprika, I think. I was like, well, the bag of pumpkin seeds does say 10 grams of protein. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes like bacon. If you're trying to cut bacon <laughs> out of your diet, it's like if you're, or if you're a vegetarian. It. Yeah, but you miss bacon. That's actually the only reason I can't be a vegetarian is bacon. Maybe you can switch to pumpkin seeds. Switch into pumpkin seeds. All right, this is perfect for Friday the 13th. So is seeing Sydney in The Haunting of Hill House. So I don't know much about this play. Mm -hmm. No spoilers, no but spoilers. tell us why we should come see it and you know where it is in Rochelle and why that's such a great place to see a show. Well, The Haunting of Hill House is a very famous book okay. by Shirley Jackson. It's iconic in like gothic horror literature. It's up there with like Dracula and Frankenstein and all that good stuff. And it became a play in 1964. Okay. And so, the Vince Carney Community Theater in Rochelle is putting it on at the Lincoln Arts Center. And it is just an amazing place. It used to actually used to be an old school. Oh, and so really? there are people like our director, she went to school there. Cool. And so she was just like sometimes when we walk around the halls, she's like, I went to school here. <laughs> what kind of school was it? Like what level? It was a middle school. Oh, and they turned it into like a venue? Yeah, and so they turned a salt, it's still like a big school, but they mm -hmm. turned this section of it into a theater and they have like events and birthday parties. But this is just a really amazing show and it's perfect for Halloween to get people in that spooky And mood. tell us about your character. Um, I play Eleanor Vance. She okay. is the first person to arrive at Hill House because a slight synopsis for the show is that it starts off with these group of people who are coming to Hill House okay. and they're studying they think it's haunted. Okay. And so they're, a doctor there named Dr. Montague is there to help conduct experiments to see how haunted it is mm -hmm. or if it's haunted at all. And Eleanor is the first person to get there and she's kind of the first. She's a guinea pig. Yeah, she's well, she's the thread okay. throughout the show. All right. Um, Do you feel like you have things in common with Eleanor? Oh, for sure. I, was like, I don't know much about Eleanor yet. I'm <laughs> going to go see this play tonight, so. I don't come back alive because I got haunted at Hill House. <laughs> I, I, I love the book. I love the movie, and I always connected with Eleanor as a character because she's very sweet and she's also quiet and uh -huh. kind of like she's very much like a people pleaser. Mm -hmm. Like she's kind of the like, oh, like I'm just going I'm around. Just here. I'm just here, <laughs> and um, she. I find her just incredible, and she's such a complex person, and it's just an amazing story. So you mentioned the TV shows and the movies. Like when when you mentioned Haunting of Hill House, I said I have heard of that before. Mm -hmm. How many different variations have been like out in the public, and how much do they coincide with the performance we'll see at okay. the theater? Uh, the book came out in 1959. Okay. Uh, the iconic Shirley Jackson novel. And then the first movie came out called The Haunting came out in 1963. Okay. The play came out in 64. And so the play very much like is very similar to the book. The book, okay. And then they remade the movie in the 90s. Which right. I think they expected that to be a big hit of a movie. It and didn't it do too Who was well. in it? Um, Liam Neeson, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Owen Wilson. Uh, it was just a big star-studded okay. cast. And well, as is this show that Sydney <laughs> is starring in um, that you can go see this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and next weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Friday, Friday and, and Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> I was like, good thing she's right here. <laughs> and you can uh, get your tickets on the theater's website, and we'll get more details for you at gooddayfateline.com. We'll be right back with a look at Monday's show, and Tammy is taking us to the Pumpkin Patch in Caledonia.